Recent rain will help drought conditions, especially in western Iowa, where three counties along the Missouri River are considered severely dry right now. But the summer could be a different story. Experts with NOAA predict La Nina will continue into the summer months. Meteorologist Amber Alexander joins us now to explain what La Nina means and how it could impact the weather here for us during the summer. Amber. Janae, uh, La Nina conditions mean that temperatures along the equator in the eastern Pacific Ocean are below average. You can see from that blue color there. Strong winds push the warmer water toward Asia, which then causes colder water in the ocean to rise to the surface. This typically leads to drier and warmer weather during the summer months across the Great Plains. The Climate Prediction Center's outlook for summer shows a 40 to 50 percent chance of above average temperatures and a 33 to 40 percent chance of below average precipitation in Iowa. So even though we'll likely see an improvement in the drought conditions across the state, because remember the uh, drought is cut off at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. So any rain we saw after that point, which was quite a bit, was not taken into account with this latest drought monitor. Uh, next week's update should account for that, but overall the drought is expected to expand here across the state as we head into the summer months. Yeah, definitely uh, quite a change between just Iowa and then you see that drought mat across the country. Yes, right? it is way drier out toward the west yeah. across uh, Nevada, or, or yes, across Nevada yeah. and California. And unfortunately, it looks like it is going to persist there as well, as well as those above average temperatures.